every manager, every supervisor, every CTO is required to make decisions. And, and the problem is that we're all wired with these analytical brains. So we think that we're supposed to gather data and analyze it. Well, that's the worst thing you can do if you want to promote decision making. And these experiments are 80 years old. So what I'm relaying to you is nothing new. Um, Walter Schuhart back in the, in the 20s discovered that if you reverse the order of analysis and try it, you make the decision a lot faster. You find out if it was right or wrong, and you have so little stake in it that you can make a quick adjustment, even so far as to abandon the initiative altogether with no cost. And so, so to, if you wanted to, to train or teach a model, it, it would, the short cycle is called the PDSA cycle. Plan, do, study it, and then codify it, or act, or institutionalize it. Plan, do, not plan, analyze, do. Mm. Plan, do, then analyze it after you do the doing. That's what learning organizations are doing. Peter Senge wrote a book called The Fifth Discipline, right, in, in the 90s. And it was about the learning organization. And, and, and how do organizations execute so quickly because they don't do analysis. What they do is they, they, they have an objective, they get as much information about it as they can, and they go do it, they go try it out. And then they find out whether it was successful. Well, typically it doesn't turn out successful. You make a modification and you, and you do it again and analyze it again. And then when you get to the point where it's, you wanna then go from a pilot to to lay to to broadly over the organization, then you have then you standardize it and then you just replicate it at that point. But 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 it's it's you know it's um, I don't think it's intuitive. Like like I didn't come to this this approach. I you know I read this approach and I tried this approach and forever I've been all, I've I create objectives and then I try them out. I go do it and then I find out the analysis from the doing now <clears throat> the more you the more you the more you can um repeat that the more confidence you get in the process but here's what i know <clears throat> everything that i need to know about a decision already exists within me i just have to tap it right and so i have to i have to give less dominance to my analytical side and more dominance to my intuitive side again this is a tough tough switch over people aren't comfortable in their intuitive side they're secure in their analytical side because it's you know they hide behind it the intuitive side they can't even explain it's not even verbal but i'm telling you it's the most powerful tool we have to get us on the right track of the right decision and then if it's wrong it doesn't matter because you got nothing invested in it when you put in an analysis cycle in before the decision the longer you're in the analysis, the more you're invested in that darn initiative because you've got so much time in it, you can't back away. But think of when you reverse the order and you have a plan and you go run a pilot real fast, you can abandon the whole thing. You know, no cost. Because cost is time, not money. So that's how I would approach decision making. 